Hello guys and welcome to a short tutorial on um, constants and dim. Um, we're going to learn the difference between these two and it's pretty simple. Um, I just want to go into more detail about it. This is going to be a relatively short tutorial. Um, let's go ahead and start up our program and we're going to be in the code window and let's go ahead and declare a constant variable and we're just going to do constant which would be c o n s t and then we're going to name this um, we're going to make it an integer so it'll be i t and then testing as integer now a, a constant is different than dim um, on a scale because you gotta declare it as your you gotta set it to a value as you're declaring it um, an integer you can keep it like this and remain it as zero through the entire program but a constant you have to give it a value when you're declaring it instead of doing like something like this int amount plus equal to one you can't do that for a constant and I'll show you that in a second but we're gonna make this zero now if we wanted to make a constant equal to another number during the program we wouldn't be able to do that because um, a constant's value must stay the same which is why we're getting this error constant cannot be the target of an assignment which means you can't change this number it's a the constant keyword basically just means you can't change whatever the variable is it can be a double um, or any other variable type such as uh, string, all these uh, string, um, all those good things. But anyways, um, and a dim is just reserving. It can reserve space, and you can change it at any time. That's pretty much all on dim and constants. Um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's relatively short, but I didn't want to add anything else to it to confuse you guys during this tutorial. And I will see you in the next tutorial.